Lemon Amiga present. A play child video review. Sit back and enjoy the show. Hey there, welcome to another very special Lemon and Eager play guide and review. This time we'll be checking out Fish Head Buddha. If you install this to the hard drive, it'll even give us a manual which will explain some of the rudimentary elements of this game. This game was developed by Axis Software and released by F1 Licenseware in 1997. This review was requested by Lemon Amiga Administrator Pred Seda. Thank you Pred Seda for requesting this review. Based on an idea by Siddhartha Gautama Buddha. This was coded by Matt West, who also coded all the other Axis software games which were released through F1 Licenseware. And the music was by Polygon Dogs. title screen we can choose some audio options and some visual options but by clicking on the Buddha's chest we can start the game. Start of the game, we are taken to the fake screen where we can see a fish and an egg and a pattern in the bottom corner. Choose your fate. Big fish, little fish is the first of the sub games that we'll find in this title, and as it begins, people have no idea what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, this game is based on Buddhism, and there are three jewels in Buddhism. The first one is the Buddha himself. These are the things that you go to for refuge, you seek the Buddha for help if you get into trouble, you seek the Dharma for help, which is the holy book of the Buddhists, the Buddhist book, which is the Dharma which contains the noble path and the precepts, and also the Sangha, which is the school, and that contains other Buddhists. The precept of Buddhism is that life is suffering and that 
basically boils down to the yin and the yang because energy cannot be created or destroyed it simply moves from one place to another so if you have water flowing down a pipeline if you put that water in if it doesn't leak and evaporate hopefully all of that will appear on the other side but that creates like a seesaw effect and with the seesaw if you put energy on one side it creates an equal and opposite reaction on the other that's the law every action has to give you an equal and opposite reaction so just like when you are walking forward on the street your first step you'll lean slightly forward and the second step you'll lean slightly back and to your mind you're walking straight upright but because of the way it's walking you'll get a plus and an opposite reaction which is a minus so every time you try to strive for something it doesn't matter what it is you will gain motivation in the forward direction but also in the back one as well and it's fate whatever happens to you at that point because fate is what they call mutable you can change your fate just by selecting a different action but destiny is fixed you can't select your destiny if something's going to happen at some time at some point then it's going to happen no matter what you try to do with it This game works with fate and when you are moving around this game it will change your pointer at random and it will move the direction that it's moving in and it will change everything about it so you can't automatically click on something directly you have to wait for the fate to align up and then you can click on something and in this game you can see there is a big fish and a small fish the big fish is representing an obstacle and small fish is the destination so you have to get around the problem you have to get over it you have to get under it you have to get by it you have to get through it you have to get beyond it in some way or another you have to tackle the problem and to do that in this game you click on the big yellow fish and that puts it back to the top of the screen that gets it out of the way so if you are working for a living if you've got a boss first thing that happens is the boss is on your back first thing in the morning you get rid of that guy that person and you carry on with your work and then come midday where's that report where's that thing where's that thing you promised me and then you get your boss off the back again other colleagues other things getting in your way you get rid of them you click on them and that reveals a way an opportunity towards the goal and this goal can be anything it can be an idea it can be a project it can be a gaining some kind of material item but in this game the object to gain is karma and karma is the red bar at the very bottom of the screen and by clicking on the red fish if that's lined up with our fate then that means we are destined to click on that at least at some point and just like if you're in a shopping queue when you're buying something at the groceries it doesn't matter how long the line is at some point you are destined to get through to the end of the line and to check out those groceries so it's inevitable as soon as you instigate some kind of cause it will give you some kind of effect that's the law so there are some things which are destined in the game and there are some things which are complete random and if you fight at complete random with that randomness you'll find the more you try the more you won't get anywhere because that's how karma works the more you try to strive for something the more you try to reach out and grab it the more irritated you'll get with yourself the more wound up you will get the less zen like you'll get and you won't be able to meditate on things and shrug things off you'll actually get angry and grumpy and because you aren't doing your best because you know you can do better then things will start to go badly and of course if you try too hard anything trying too hard is pushing things over the limit you'll gain some kind of opposite reaction and sometimes when you're trying to build something you get angry and you start banging things around and you break the very thing that you're trying to repair in the first place 
so life can go either way. The yin contains yang and yang contains yin and that moves around in a spiral or in a circle and you're in a state of flux all day long. No matter what you do and no matter what you say, it's completely 50-50 what you're going to get as a result. If you give somebody a kind word, they can turn around and say, what are you looking at me for? Why are you smiling? Or sometimes when you can frown at somebody, they might tell you a joke and make you laugh. And it's completely random what you're going to get when you happen to bump into somebody, even though it's destiny that you were meant to bump into that person at that particular time on that particular day and when you're going for a high scoring run fate might make sure that the more you try the more you can't get anywhere particularly in this game because it's very confusing to understand what you're meant to be doing in the very first place the second game you can see is we're supposed to click on the various body parts of this creature it doesn't matter what it is we're supposed to identify it and clicking on what we want in this particular case will advance us if we click on the arms that will take us back all the way back to the fate screen and this is what i call the fate screen because you can see the pointer is moving completely out of control at the whim of fate and sometimes it can give you the arms directly from the store and sometimes you can give the eyes with the nose and sometimes you can't help not clicking on the right thing and that loses karma that you can see at the bottom of the screen and the aim is to click on as many things as possible and when you run out of karma you'll get a karma out When that happens, all that will happen is you'll run out of karma and you'll have to build that all up all over again. The bottom square, you can't activate that until I think later on in the game and for that you'll have to complete the first two of these puzzles and then once you've got all the karma then you'll get fish. And fish in this game are represented basically anything that your heart desires food wealth and attractiveness and prosperity gain material items love efficiency calmness it doesn't matter what you're trying to reach for these things are represented by fish in the game you start out with zero and the aim is to build up all of the fish so you have enough and when enough is enough then you'll always have enough but getting to the point where you have enough leads to suffering because as soon as you take a step forward you'll also be taking a step backwards and the thing that was meant to just take you 10 minutes actually takes you an hour so this review actually took 43 minutes to record but when I recorded it, it recorded wrong and it was broke in the editor. And this was very frustrating, so I ran that through handbrake and that meant that a 44 gigabyte file was crunched all the way down to 4 gig and that means the backgrounds are corrupted like you can see at the moment. And when I tried to load that into the editor, it would play but without sound. So I had to render it off again with sound and put that on top of it and then trying to play that off again it had a major problem playing that back i tried to re-render it again and it rendered out now to a 20 gig file and that's basically the problems that i had trying to record this game and i would have recorded the narration yesterday but it was raining complete random and my voice also i had a sore throat so i had to sneak up on this review quietly because every time I tried to review this game yesterday something else happened and something else happened a complete random and my karma was shot fate was taking me out of the picture and I wasn't destined to review the game yesterday and eventually at 11 p.m. I gave up so that was my fate yesterday so today I've snuck up on this review I've done it all casually I've tried to remain zen like upon it and that means that I can sneak up on this review and hopefully remember half of the things that I was meant to tell you about karma and about Buddhism 
because I used to be a follower of Buddhism uh, quite some time ago and that helped me get over the depression because by dealing with problems it makes them go away and hopefully by clicking on the big yellow fish it makes it go away by ignoring the problem that makes it grow bigger and the more you ignore a problem the more it will become a problem and it's harder to get around it and to get through it and so the objective of this game is to tackle the fates of fate and the fate of karma and by clicking on the red fish you will get more and more karma which doesn't do anything on this particular screen and when you've had enough you can click on the white fish in the bottom corner so you will be moving against fate just when you think that thing is moving in a straight line the fish will dart in another random direction and your cursor will dart in another random direction as well so you are fighting against fate on this particular screen but not as much as you do on that fate screen and the objective of this screen is to simply to get as much karma as possible and if you click wrongly if you click on the bubbles or in the background then you'll lose karma and the more you lose karma of course it's pretty difficult so you'll have to keep the boss in check and the boss is usually the psyche your own mind the thing that makes you really angry and irritable keep that boss in check to regain your concentration and then it gives you a precious few moments in the moment to grab whatever it is and if you don't grab whatever it is then you're gonna lose the moment and if you're out of the moment it means you stand a precious little chance of grabbing whatever it is because if you're trying too hard it will slip directly between your fingers and again the more you try to grab these things the more you'll be irritated and the more you won't be able to get what you're trying to aim for. So part of this game is to zone out and to not be too bothered with what you get. It's a mixed bag, it's positive or negative, sometimes you won't be able to hit that target and you might realise that the target isn't worth going for anyway, it's just a fish and many things in life aren't worth going for and we strive for those things anyway. See, at this point I've worked out the puzzle and we're getting the boss at the top of the screen and usually, yes, that boss can be anybody, it can be a teacher, it can be a mother, a daughter, but usually it's your own mind policing things and it's your own police officer in your own mind that tells you what you can and can't do and it's that officer that says yes I will spare 10 minutes to get that thing out of the way or no I haven't got 10 minutes to spare in 24 hours to even appreciate that and to tackle that and to get that out of the way well you're gonna have to spare some time in this game to deal with that you have to deal with relationships of all different kinds at work and at home and in marriage and school life and education life and play life all kinds of relationships will have to be nurtured and it's that nurturing that encourages you to do in this game you have to nurture the fish and encourage circumstances to flow in the right direction and if they aren't you have to be patient and if they aren't, you've not got a time limit, you've got all the time in the world, the rest of your life basically, to take your time and to get it right first time. Because if you don't get it right first time, it leads to delays, and delays mean that it's going to take you even longer to get what you wanted in the first place. And if you try and rush things and rapidly try to get through things to get things over with, then you're not appreciating that journey and you'll find no doubt that you'll have to go back and fix things and sometimes fixing those problems again and again leads to delays and that just delays the whole thing over and over and over again but that's fate sometimes things have to be delayed until karma is settled and you get the right destiny and then when it's your destiny to do those things and to get those things out of the way then it will appear very easy 
just like when somebody asks you to marry them, then it all appears very easy. Yes, absolutely, it's the easiest thing in the world. If somebody's offering you a car for a great deal, or a house, or a holiday for a great deal, sometimes the easiest choices in the world are those which are flowing with the flow. And this game is about going with the flow of fate, and going with the flow of fate means that you can affect karma, and karma is nothing to do with fate. Karma is karma, and fate is fate. And so what we're doing is building up the karma, and once we've got enough karma, that enables a door to open in the lines of fate. You can see we've now got full karma at the bottom of the screen, so what I really should be doing is clicking on the white fish, and that means that we stand as much chance as possible of getting a bonus once we leave this section of the game. See, I didn't click on the white fish, I chose to continue, and that prolongs my suffering and the agony. And if you run out of something in life, if you run out of coffee or milk, then you're going to have to go out and buy some more. So no matter what it is, if you've got an abundance of something, then the seesaw effect will come into effect. And you'll run out of things, and then you'll have to go out of your way to sort things out and buy those things. And that means going perhaps into town and going to the shops and sorting things out, getting some boots on. And that leaves the door open for destiny, because whilst you're in town, you could bump into somebody that you haven't seen for 20 years, and you were destined to bump into them, and if you hadn't gone out then you wouldn't have met them, but it was your destiny to meet them anyway. So sometimes karma can be offloaded when you have too much karma, it can give you something. And it might not be what you wanted, it might be an abundance of money, an abundance of time, so you might get bored, an abundance of opportunities, and so you can't take all those opportunities, an abundance of love, if you get too much love then you feel stifled and overwhelmed, so usually it's the opposite of what you want, but that karma has to be offloaded, that's the seesaw, so in this case it's offloaded me by providing me with some fish. You can see I've collected a green fish there by clicking on that, and when you have done the fish will turn towards us, and it will pull a funny face, and that means that the fish has been collected. And I think you press one of the buttons, it could be the space bar in the game, and that shows us how many fish that we've collected, and the aim is to collect enough fish to complete the game. You can see some of those are invisible, and I've got that invisible fish, and fish all have different effects on this screen, on this fate screen. At the moment, fate is taking us around pretty gently at the moment, because we haven't collected too many fish. But that fate screen will be more angry and more unpredictable if you collect those fish, and as we shall see. So there's a brown one there. At this stage, it is possible to fight karma with enough concentration to stay in the moment. You can fight karma enough to get the fate lines lined up and get the fish. And karma is actually not doing anything, it's the fate that we're fighting against. So we're actually fighting against fate all of the time and you never know what you're going to get, it could be positive or you're negative. If we don't collect these fish and if we don't click on them, then we'll lose karma and that means that there is a less chance of getting a fish and that means that with less chance of getting fish, it means you have to hang around on these screens for longer and yes, fish will appear if you've got good karma and big karma, they will appear on both of the bonus levels, or these levels that you're supposed to do, so you're going to have to keep an eye out on them, you can see that completing these screens automatically gets rid of the fish, so I could have got a brown one there and I missed it by completing this, there's a black fish there which I've now got, and these, well, I'm not quite sure if you click on the arms, I think it will cancel what we're supposed to do, and the nose that we've had already, so I think you're supposed to click on the feet on this one, because that's the odd one out, but I'm concentrating on the nose, 
fighting against fate, try and get there, and you definitely have to zen yourself out, because if you click on the wrong thing, then you'll go backwards, and I think clicking on the arms is taking us backwards, and I'm not quite sure, but it seems like we're going in the wrong direction to complete this particular puzzle. So this game, Fish Head Buddha, is suffering, and you can suffer and why you are playing this, wondering why that it's even possible to sit down and play something like this, which was released in 1997. just like playing The Sims or playing any other game where you're tidying yourself up and simulating tidying up your room instead of actually tidying it and I'm one of the biggest untidy people on the face of this planet when it comes to tidying my room and you can't line things up you're supposed to I think click on the red marker but the red marker actually loses karma and I think you can only get that once you've completed the middle puzzle which we haven't completed at the moment we've collected a few fish so we're gonna have to try again we're trying the middle puzzle again to try and get a bit further we've got some karma from the first puzzle so we can get a few fish for bonuses but I'm really struggling actually to complete this puzzle because it's pretty difficult and if you misclick then you're gonna be back on the fate screen again. That's another fish collected and I don't think the brown ones will do much but the blue ones definitely do so let's press that button let's see how many we've collected and according to that zero of the brown ones we've just picked up a blue one with a down arrow next to that that means that fate will move downwards at twice the rate you can also see half speed double speed on there bounce around whirlwind frame and all of these things once you collect them will definitely change something you can click on the info and it says click on the brown ones now to balance out your fate now a brown one will frame the landscape and make you bounce around in the frame so let's click on the middle part of this thing and the down arrow means that gravity or fate in this case is pulling us down at twice the rate and you can see it's also giving us a box around those things as well collected a black one and that means that controlling this thing is made even harder now because it's a black one and now a green one what does that do well that has kind of a mad effect all over the screen still trying to get the white one which gives us times two which I think bounces around even more and then we'll have to get a yellow one to get half speed otherwise this thing's gonna be out of control so you have to balance fate every opportunity otherwise you can see we are now moving around madly now with twice downward speed and it's also boxing is out you can see a box as well in the middle of the screen and it's also got the mad effect from collecting that black fish so we've got full karma and full karma means that fish will appear and if we collect any more of these black fish, this thing's going to be moving around like a tornado. So I don't really want to do that. And trying to keep a control of this thing is hard enough at the best of times. But with concentration and sheer willpower, it is possible to fight fate and to get exactly what you want. But that will also have consequences. Yes, if you throw enough money at something, you'll get what you want. But maybe that was not the right thing to do or the opportune thing to do 
and sometimes if you go on a luxury weekend it rains throughout the thing and you get bored all the way through it but sometimes if you just let the opportunities come to you instead without caring one way or the other then let go of all of that trying and all that aiming for things and trying too hard for things then what you actually get is what you wanted in the very first place and what I wanted is this yellow fish let's try to grab that and let's fight against fate can I get it no I can't get it and that means even though we've managed to lock this by fighting against fate we've locked it on that trajectory now we've locked it on the up and down movement we can fight fate but it's not giving us what we need until we let go of that and then having let go of that we get another fish it's a white one I missed it and so that's all part of this game there is no rhyme or reason for this just like the sun which was released by Axis software as well which was another game which was very mysterious and I haven't worked out how to play that game and they also released Burton Bird which is another seriously fun game and definitely in 1997 these people were very prolific on the Amiga and they released tons and tons of stuff and Matt West I'm not sure what he moved on to but he coded most of these games and they are quite fun quite playable you can see that's now a brown fish collected we can now collect the brown fish what do we need well green is what we actually need according to this in order to balance karma and the green automatically bounces around you can see if we collect those fish in a certain order they will affect things and now the fish in that order have made all of the background items go blank you can see no shadow now above or behind those things in the bottom corner and maybe that's what we wanted we've got two blue fish now but what we really want is now a times two but a white fish that's what we really want in order to balance ourselves out and now with the two blue fish you can see things are getting back to being mayhem again it's taking off the shadow effect and now we're still struggling against all the wrong fish and maybe I'm supposed to collect this it's certainly easy to collect some of these oh no that's another green one so that's even more chaos so fish head buddha just like life itself it is pointless the point of life is whatever point that you put on it and if the point to your life is getting up and working and then coming home watching the tv and then going out having a pint coming back putting your feet up and then going to bed then that's your point of life but everybody has their own point of life and to some their life point is to look after the children and the family and they don't care about anything else some people their point is to keep the house clean from top to bottom and others don't care about those things and some people the point is to go down the pool and drink as much alcohol as they can as much as they can all day long and the point of being an alcoholic is to break out of that and the more you get depressed and try to break out of that the more you want and the more you step out of that step out of that box and say right I'm not going to be an alcoholic anymore and you force yourself into the moment you force your concentration then you've got an opportunity to grab whatever that is and that's a fish and once you've grabbed that fish then you don't have to be an alcoholic anymore you've grabbed it and now you can move on to the next opportunity But life just like this game even though it's pointless it can be very frustrating because you're trying to put a point onto it and the more you fight with that the more you'll fight against it because it's just like a rubber band it's like if someone tied a rubber band to yourself or some kind of rubber and you're trying to reach out and grab something and it's a slippery balloon it slips between your fingers you've got one chance to grab it and if you don't life's gonna pull you back again so if you don't go for that prize holiday 
product that's cheap, then the next day you ring up, where's my price holy? Oh sorry, it's gone to somebody else now. You should have grabbed it with both hands whilst you were there. If your job is to commentate on a sports event, then if your mind is somewhere else on a previous event or on the next event, then you're not going to get in the moment. You're not going to grab the event with both hands. You're not going to be able to commentate and commentary on that thing. And it's only that I'm in the moment now. I've got my eyes closed at the moment that I'm, that I'm actually being able to concentrate. And the more I slow down into the moment, the more I stop making the verbal mistakes. That means I have less verbal mistakes to iron out in the edit. That means the edit will be shorter. And that means that it doesn't take me too much longer to produce this, having produced this thing for too long already. So that's fish head butter. I'm not sure how many fish that you're supposed to collect to balance out your life completely. And enough of everything is usually the key. Enough money, enough luxury, enough films, enough entertainment, enough love is usually the thing that will get you by. And if you have too much debt, then that will be cancelled out. And if you have too much credit, then that will be cancelled out and you'll get taxed on things and if somebody leaves your fortune in the will then you'll get inheritance tax and if they leave you any property then you'll get property tax and windfall tax on top of that and then when you sell the property you'll get taxed on the sale of the property and then what you'll end up with is probably two thousand pounds that you'll use to go on holiday with and then the balance will be clear, your literal bank balance will be clear, the karma that you've accrued will then be clear, and that means you'll have to build up the karma every day, all over again, just by doing something for the right intentions, moving one step closer to that, even if you take ten steps back and get irritated with yourself and rage quit, and I've definitely rage quit playing some games in the games competition recently that we've been playing for the Lemon vs English Amiga board games competition. Certainly quite a few of those games I've had to rage quit because I got infuriated with myself. And those things are definitely something to watch out for in video games and video games don't usually ask us to send ourselves out and that avoids karmering ourselves out and video games don't usually ask us to have so much patience that it doesn't actually really matter what happens and if we don't get something then that doesn't really matter but we've now finally got ourselves a white fish and I think if you already have fish then well if you click on them then that will deplete your fish to zero and that means you can cancel those fates and now we get the shadows again and everything's balanced in the wrong direction now so this is a mysterious game and just like life, it's mysterious. You never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it can be very easy. And we've collected the yellow one now, so we don't need to collect any more of those. And it's not going to give us any either. But you can see that's balanced out our fate, so everything's back to normal again. So the yin and the yang, sometimes you have to get angry to get happy. Sometimes you have to get sad in order to cheer up. Sometimes you have to have the worst depression in the world to save yourself from going that far down again. And sometimes when we reach rock bottom and the world turns us all around on our heads and we find ourselves rushed and pressured with an imaginary rushing and pressuring that largely we put ourselves under and at the behest of other people, then that's the time precisely the time when we should take a deep breath, slow down 
and not try to grab things and not try to rush the day because as soon as you start looking at the clock the clock's going to go slower and it's going to give you the opposite effect because when you reach for something and you want something it gives you the opposite effect so it's like a baby stuck in a push chair saying I want my dummy or I want this or I want that the more the baby screams and shouts I want I want I want the more the adult says well actually no you're not gonna get whatever it is because screaming and you're shouting too much and now you're gonna have to learn patience and you have to share with your brother and you share with your sister and now just for being angry I'm gonna make you stand in the angry corner and now you can't be angry anymore that balances out the anger. The parents are trying to do that and it would help if you didn't get angry in the first place. But being happy and calm and laughing all the time also works in the opposite direction. You'll be disappointed. So it's best to keep your eyes open and your ears open. To take things exactly as they come and don't judge things because every time you judge things, if you're looking out for those negative aspects, they will be there. Everything in the karmic wheel is positive and negative, so everything contains negative as well as the positive. So if you see anything, any news event, it could be no matter what it is, it could be a tunnel linking Spain and North Africa. If you look at that one way, then that's positive, it means lots of trade for Spain. If you look at it in another way, it means lots of refugees from Africa. So no matter what you're looking for, if you want to be a pessimist, you'll find the negative in every single thing which exists. And if you got the highest score ever, you still feel like you could have done better. But if you get the lowest score and then you get the highest score about you feel really chuffed with yourself because you've achieved something and you weren't really achieving anything before and you just let it go and you had one more try and you didn't care, you just went with fate and somehow you got the high score. So sometimes try and try again will push fate in the right direction so you can force yourself to get that score and I'm forcing myself to get all of the wrong fish at the moment and that's not doing much, it's not changing any of the pictures and all that's doing is balancing fate and fate isn't in our hands, it's mutable you can try but the outcome is at the hands of destiny and you can't cheat destiny if you're going to get fired from a job it doesn't matter if you're the happiest person in the world somebody will take it the wrong way when you say I will help you to your car with this thing somebody might think that you're trying to rob them and you get fired so if you're trying to do Mr Nice Guy and trying to put on a mask then that's striving for things again you're trying to do things again and if you're trying to get your face done and your lips pouted and your makeup on and your hair big and massive then what you can find is you probably put on loads of weight and instead of being a dream model you turn into a dream fat lump so trying to do cosmetic changes in life isn't really helpful all those make life a bit more palatable and a bit more zen but what you really want the changes you really need to make aren't on the outside at all they're all on the inside in your brain and all of those changes in your brain start with one motivation and then you can switch your brain off your hands will do the rest your mind will come up with the answer if you let it your feet will do the walking without having you to concentrate walking down the road so once you instigate something you let it go and that's how magic works because magic works by weaving fate into destiny and I won't go into how magic works because this is all about Buddhism and karma but magic basically works in the same way energy and light is flowing all around the universe from the sun and everything comes from the sun everything grows from the sun and that's where we'll return to when we die they say look at the light seek the light move towards the light well the light is the sun the sun god the same sun god that we've been basically worshipping all this time the sun that makes the flowers grow the sun that makes the plants and the animals that we eat and the sun which makes it possible to see things with our eyes so whether you believe in a god in heaven or a god in the universe it's still the creator it's still the thing that's created everything that we know to exist and so give thanks 
and we will return that will start with nothing and will return with nothing will end with nothing as soon as we switch off this machine we'll lose that we don't get high score i don't think we'll simply calm her out and life isn't about getting any kind of a high score all we can do is to get by and hopefully irritate as few of our own feathers and irritate as few of our neighbors feathers as possible otherwise they'll give you a hard time and sometimes letting go of giving yourself a hard time is the hardest thing in life to do second only to staying in the moment in the first place because we are drifting about in the fates of fate and the waves of fate and the stream of time and you can't concentrate otherwise you lose it what you have to do is focus and then let it go thank you